another video. I'm just sitting here randomly at a spot where I think I'm not supposed to be. Um, looking at this beautiful lake. And I don't know, I just thought about why not talk about my last one and a half weeks, my first one and a half weeks I've spent alone traveling through Chile. So I don't know where to start at, but just let's say I'm like super super happy. I'm super relaxed, like my mind is super clear. I'm just, I feel like just traveling one and a half weeks changed me already. Like look at me, I'm just like chilling here in some random clothes that I had to because I was freezing, I'm just like not looking at how the jacket looks, but it keeps me warm and everything. So I don't know. Let's let's just talk about in this video what I've done, who I met, how I changed already. Oh my god, I feel so whatever. <laughs> so I arrived Thursday fourth, no, cinco, fifth of September, like one and a half weeks ago, and I've spent couple of nights in Santiago de Chile in the capital city and I had so much fun there I met so nice people like Haley from Canada props to you Haley I love you um, if you see that and two German guys basically we just spent all day together I had a really really fun time with them especially with Haley <laughs> You're doing a good job right there. It's <laughs> falling. <laughs> Just cooking with her and like going on our daily hikes and everything it was really nice. Then we decided all together to go to Valparaíso. We took the bus. It was like two hours, not even one and a half hours to get there and like the buses in Chile are super super cheap so travel by bus guys and not by airplane we went on Monday there we still had the evening and everything but we just um, cooked dinner and had a fun time at the hostel and like Tuesday was one of my favorite days so far I just can't believe that I saw sea lions in nature I always dreamed about like seeing those animals that I see in a zoo that I can see them in nature and I don't know I love I used to love like watching the sea lions in a zoo and it was just and it was just so I don't know I was so happy like I we were just staring at them I even saw pelicans in nature they were just chilling their lives there they were they flew around and they were just sitting on the um, there was a little market on the roof and I don't know it was like so so cool and the weather was so good I was walking around in a shirt and I was just like and I was just like feeling the sun on my skin and I kind of have to admit <laughs> that I forgot how the sun feels on my skin because it was just so freezing in Santiago and after that we went to a big ass store compared like size of Walmart and they had a really really big aisle of like gluten-free and vegan stuff so I got like gluten-free pasta gluten-free cookies and, and a bunch of rice cakes and corn cakes and I was just like wow oh my gosh I'm so happy I had lunch at the hostel and then we walked around Valparaíso like we saw this beautiful street art it was just the weather was still nice and I had gluten-free tacos and quesadillas for dinner. Life couldn't be better at this time. At 9 p.m. Tuesday, I took the night bus. Okay, well, I had to say goodbye and then I traveled alone. I took the night bus from Valparaíso to Pocon. It's like 12 hours. It, it was 12 hours. So I arrived in Pocon at 9. It was a pretty cool experience, I guess. I couldn't fall asleep because I was like thinking, hmm, I hope that the bus driver is still the driver of the bus and not any weird guy trying to rob us all. Uh, because I've heard stories like that 
that happens in South America and I stepped out of the bus and the weather was so freaking freaking good it was freaking cold but when it's cold and the sun is shining and the is so blue I really really like that I went to the hostel went back to sleep and then I randomly decided to go on a hike and I took the bus up to the mountain it was kind of a fail because the administration was already closed the last bus is coming at 6.30 and the tour takes about 5 to 6 hours so um, I think the administration closes like at 11 or 12 and I was there at 1 so I planned like oh yeah tomorrow I'm gonna wake up at 8 I'm gonna go there again I'm gonna hike this um, trail and then I'm gonna be happy yeah <laughs> oh there's a dog coming uh oh two dogs Wednesday night I started to talk to four guys from Belgium and um, that I'm like sh that I shared a room with me and four Belgians so and um, yeah and well hola <laughs> They're super wet. <laughs> Can you please go? Oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> Can I not just film that? Thanks. Bye. Wow, they just came to like do it in front of me. and then we started drinking a little and then we started like going to a club and <laughs> and let's just say we had a really really good time that night and the night after that <laughs> we went to a club and to a pub like we I think we went to the club on Wednesday and to the club no to the pub on Thursday and like I wanted to do that hike on Thursday again and I was just like planning okay I get I wake up at 8 so I won't be like um, be too late for the administration but yeah we all woke up at like 11 or so and it was just too late and I was just walking around the pond like the whole day and let me escape in your eyes to hurt again so I thought about like yeah it's probably better not to go hike yeah and yeah so I didn't do much on that day I just spent some money on food I made some food and Thursday night we went out to a pub and those two nights Thanks guys. When you see that, I miss you. I'm gonna be soon in Belgium. I have no idea when, but you're gonna repeat that. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a really, really good time. And then on Friday, I went to the thermals. Oh my gosh, guys, hot springs. You have to go there if you are in Pukon. It was quite...
it was quite expensive to go there and to get in but it's really really worth it so Saturday was the first day that it was raining all day I spent whole day in the hostel just like calling my fam and then I took the bus to Puerto Varas where I'm now and now I'm working in a hostel it's super chill the people are super super nice and yesterday um, yesterday we went on an adventure <laughs> So now I'm just working at the hostel. I get a free bed. I'm staying here for three weeks. And yeah, I'm just chilling my life right now and I'm just living my life. I'm just I'm just living in the moment, like feeling everything and I'm just like so happy about everything. Like I could be happier with warm but I mean I can't change it. So I'm just here. And I've traveled through half of Chile. In one and a half weeks I've seen so much I had snow I had rain last week I had Sun I don't know it's it's just so crazy and now I'm just trying to breathe Chilean air and exhale some Spanish words <laughs> Wow okay I hope you like that video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to me if you want to know where I'm going ne next what I'm doing next and um, yeah have a good day I'm getting so cold right now I'm just laying on freaking rocks oh. <laughs> <laughs>